Hello everyone, so today we're going to go over some local 4 team building. So if this is part 2 of um, 4 parts of team building. Obviously since there's 4 locals, we would have 4 parts since um, these take quite a while to go through and yeah, that's why I have to split them up. Um, if you haven't watched part 1 already and you live in local 3, I'll leave a link down below to that one. Um, that's the one I did for local three. So if you go, uh, if you live in local three, this probably isn't the video for you. But um, all, anyways, remember that uh, these are only based on strictly if you mainly uh, move or play or live in these areas. Obviously, as human beings, we do move around to other areas, other locals as well. So um, after I finish all four guides, you could you know try and cross reference. You know if you go to like uh local two and four then you, uh, a lot then you try to reference uh some a bit of both to uh try and make a better team for yourself so uh, anyways uh that aside let's get into this so let's first uh let's go over the global spawn so we have a pato mono gen 2 pasukis a marga triceratops rex uh, Draco Gen 2, uh, An that's Anki Gen 2, Ophiogodon, Velociraptor, Tmodactylus, uh, Caprosuchus, Baryonyx, uh, Brachiosaurus, Stegosaurus, Dimetrodon Gen 2, Hatchiopteryx, no uh, Notosaurus, Ankylogodon, uh, Utah Raptor, Notopatosaurus, and Margocephalus, and down to local 4, um, uh, the day spawns we have, uh, Sukumimus, Draphotine, and Ankylosaurus, well, the night spawn, or, uh, the, like, all, all day spawns uh, since locals only have like one night spawn and that's the one at the end there which is delta and the uh, all day ones are allo uh, allosaurus depletator uh uh spinosaurus wurosaurus parasaur uh whatever this is called a uh, corgosuchus sorry a uh, uh, colosuchus and a uh, rotosaurus so anyways uh let's let's start out from um what you would probably uh, begin with so at first you're given one of three dinos at least last time I checked you're given one of three dinos but that was five months ago so I, I'd assume it's still the same Velociraptor, Maginicosaurus, and Ioneosaurus so first of all um of the three a uh, Velociraptor is of the most used um but it doesn't really matter you'll see uh Velociraptor decently often since they are a common dino and the others the other two you could see them often too if you go to parks and they only appear in parks so anyways that aside let's take velociraptor and for the uh night dawn dusk dinos um it's best to take a anki gen 2 as well um and remember these are all starting dinos they're not the best in the world but they will uh help you at least get started in this game and they're not hard to get either so that helps uh, next, you should probably go for a Patasaurus. Um, this is a day spawn, so it really depends on when you start to play this game. If you're starting at night, then you'll probably get Anki Gen 2 first. If not, if in the day, you'll probably get a Pado first. And then moving on to the uh, anytime spawns. You know what? I probably should have done these two first. Uh, yeah, Stegosaurus and uh, Metrodon Gen 2. Stegosaurus has some bulk, it has slow, it has cleanse, and Metrodon Gen 2 has a decent uh two times damage move for a common dino also has immunity which is nice and next one moving on to the uh, local four commons first one i'm going to talk about is the anytime uh common uh allosaurus it has a decent amount of bulk um as high damage uh it's really slow but the damage and health kind of makes up for it next one we're gonna go to uh parasaur that's the one that's the last one uh so uh a parasaur isn't the greatest. I'd personally argue Iguandon's a bit better now. Uh, Parasaur used to be really good, um, but they kind of changed its kit around, and now it has like impact and run instead of a uh, uh, greater stunning impact, which which is still fine. But it still has superiority strike, which is one of the best moves in the game. It has high health, um, mass speed, low attack, but it has some okay moves and some utility, so uh, you could use that. And next we have Sukumimus. Sukumimus is a swap and wound and also has another wounding attack, so it does a, does a lot of DOT damage. Uh, use this against tanks and um, uh, other dinos that are like higher level than you, a lot higher level than you, because since 
uh, bleed does percentage of their health and it's not like your damage so uh, that helps a lot so anyways moving on after you get you know all these common stuff you probably start getting into some rares you probably get some rares um, in, in the middle of you get forming this team up so uh, one rare that is pretty decent to start off with is a notosaurus and that's a, a global uh, anytime spawn so that's not the hardest to get um, and I clicked the wrong thing modify here we go so uh, you could take out uh, Anki Gen 2 for that it's just a just in many ways better Anki Gen 2 it's not as defensive but it's uh, it's more of an offensive Anki Gen 2 I'd say it's kind of a mix uh, Notosaurus is a mix it's always been a mix and it's 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 decent <laughs> anyways uh moving on uh we could have another one of the uh anytime global rares which is utah raptor utah raptor is decently fast um uh, it's not 128 although in uh it, it it's supposed to be fast but in this meta it's i mean it's still fast but you know there's a lot of 129 dinos out there which Gives it a bit of a trouble, but it is still decent to start off with. We could take out Parasaur out, although these two don't have much in common. Um, Parasaur is probably one of the weakest links in your team at the moment. Unless you really need a, a second superiority strike user, then you could keep Parasaur and take out, you know, either Dimension on Gen 2 or Velociraptor. Uh, both work. So, moving on, we go to Pasasukis. That's a day rare spawn. Uh, it's a day only rare spawn. Pasasukis, why? People use Pasasukis is it's insane turn one damage, ferocious impact <laughs> with a really decent uh, base damage makes it the hardest hitting dino in the game on turn one that doesn't armor pierce or uh, or a uh, uh, break shields. So we could take out uh, the Metro on Gen two for that. Maybe Patasaurus too since Patasaurus isn't, isn't that great of a dino. But for the purpose of doing a lot of damage, we could throw a Pasasukis in there if I could ever find it. Here it is, it's a level 10. All right, for me. Uh, next, um, we could go for a Triceratops. Uh, Triceratops is a decent control dino. Uh, it's kind of like Cyanoceratops in many ways, but um, Cyanoceratops de uh, recently got a buff, so they're not that similar anymore, although they're still quite sim similar, and Cyanoceratops is a decent dino um, for stunning. But Triceratops is more accessible, and you will be using it till level 10 for you if you use for Stegoceratops. So uh, moving on, Caprasuchus is the next one you want to get. That is a nighttime rare, so you'll only see it outside at night and rarely dawn or dusk. So uh, Caprasuchus is kind of the same deal as Pasasuchus, except it doesn't do as much turn 1 damage as it does turn 2 damage. So yeah, <laughs> it's... It's it's one of those weird dinos. So uh, you could take either uh, or um, you could I, you take Sukumimus or Allosaurus out. Uh, I personally prefer Sukumimus, so how about let's just take Allosaurus out. But then if you take Allosaurus out, you you don't have a shield breaker, so probably Sukumimus then if this is your team. Um, I'm always thinking about what 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 I would use, but no, <laughs> that shouldn't be the case here. Uh, if I can find Caprasuchus, I think it's level 15. There it is. All right. Uh, moving on to some of our uh, local, not our, I don't live in local four, but uh, some um, local rares. Uh, let's go on to Draft Titan. Draft Titan is a really, really, really good rare. <laughs> it has a lot of health, it has some armor, it has a rampage move, it has a cleanse move, it's, it has a slow move, it has some weird shield move. It's just an all-around great dino. We could take out Stegosaurus for that. It does what Stegosaurus does, but just way, way better. So put that in there. And Local 4 is always the local with really decent standalone rares for some reason. And that is um, amplified by Wurrosaurus. It used to be one of the best rares in the game. It got recently nerfed for some reason, but... Uh, it's still great. It still does what it's supposed to do. Uh, I'd say you could either take off Allosaurus if you haven't already, but if you really still need a uh, shield breaker, if you find shields are still a problem for you, then maybe take out Triceratops. It's not that important at the moment. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, you will get better stunners uh, uh, later in the game. So 
that's not too much of an issue. I could find my worst source. Here it is. All right, moving on to the nighttime rare of, or not nighttime. Oh, sorry. The uh, uh the other um anytime rare of, uh local four. We get Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus does a lot of bleed damage. Um, I personally find it really fun to use. So I could either take out. Velociraptor or Caprasuchus for it if you still find Velociraptor useful because Velociraptor is really useful in early stages It is the fastest dino in the game and it does a lot of damage on turn one and It probably could do a lot of damage on turn two if it, if it hasn't died yet <laughs> So uh, if you don't find too much counters for Velociraptor um, At this level just keep on using it if you do find some Velociraptor a lot of Velociraptor counters running around then probably take it off but otherwise, I'd probably just take out the Caprasuchus. Pasasuchus is... Uh, or you could take out Pasasuchus. It's... You know, it really depends on you. I prefer Pasto over Capro. Just because it's more... Has a more niche role that it does better than Capro. Which does a more, like, generalist role. But doesn't do as good. So I'd take uh, Pasasuchus over that. Uh, where is Spinosaurus? Here's Spinosaurus. All right, uh, moving on to the nighttime rare. It's Delta. Delta, in my opinion, is probably one of is probably the best uh, rare raptor, just because it, it has really decent speed. Also has a pounce and swap, which I like a lot. So Utah Raptor is coming out for that thing. If I could differentiate them, I think it is this one. <laughs> All right, um, next. Uh, moving on, let's get into some uh, rare hybrids, shall we? The first one, let's go over is Ankylocodon. It has immunity, it has, you know, armor piercing, it has a shield, uh, it has armor, it has a slow. It's just a better Notosaurus in many ways. So we could take out Notosaurus for that. Uh, the Ankylocodon. Do I even have this? Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, and another uh, rare hybrid that's great to have is a uh, Sucatator. Sucatator is a uh, used to be like the worst dino in the game but it got a decent buff it has bleed as instant cripple as i think a null move now it's just a completely different dino than it was before you could take out spinosaurus for that it just does what spino does and then also does some other stuff which is nice and then um you probably have your first uh epic if you haven't um or uh uh or you could have had that even bit before that since rex is quite a common epic it is the highest it is the epic with the single highest spawn rate in the game so it's probably not super hard to get this but anyways once you do get it aloe's coming out rex is just in every way a better aloe source um it's slightly slower but it doesn't really matter since no one else is really in that uh, uh speed tier so you can take out uh, aloe for that and then if you could find a Brachiosaurus at night, those are the night global epics. Take out Draft Titan. Brach uh, Brachiosaurus is a better Draft Titan. So, yeah. <laughs> and you can see a trend here. We're just replacing um, some older dinos with some better ones, the newer, better versions. And uh, the next one we're going to talk about, which doesn't really follow that trend, is the Baryonyx. Baryonyx is also a nighttime epic. Um, it does defense shattering. It's faster than Rex. It's just a Rex, but uh, with a more risky playstyle, I'd say. It's it's a high risk, high reward dino. It does, in many cases, need to land that uh, uh, crit that it has, which is 20%. That's not bad. Let's take out Pasasuchus for that. Um, a, a hard hitter for another hard hitter. And moving on, let's go to the local four epics. So, local four. Uh, daytime epic is Ankylosaurus. This is the one everyone wants. Not that Ankylosaurus is so strong, but its um, hybrids are extremely valuable in the meta right now, as it's always been since 1.3. I was about to say 1.2, but that's not really true. The one point, back in 1.2, its hybrids were really bad, <laughs> uh, especially in Kentro, that was horrible. But now it's probably one of the best items in the game. Uh, anyways, um, let's grab an Anki and. We could probably just take out uh, Warasaurus, but uh, sometimes uh, Warasaurus has a bit more utility than Anki. Anki does its job a bit better, so you could either keep Woro or throw an Anki. It's really your choice, and depends which one you have at a higher level. If you have Woro at a higher level, which you're probably more likely to, uh, I'd say Woro is a better choice, but if you really want to use this Anki, this uh, uh, 
uh, Anki does do a bit better against Indominus Rex than uh, Warhose, so you could throw that in. Uh, I don't know if people are fighting <laughs> Indominus Rex at this stage or not. But anyways, moving on, the next uh, local 4 dino is, or local 4 epic, is Kula. And Kula is a really, really great standalone epic. Um, it's probably one of the best standalone epics in the game, actually. So um, we got to throw that in. And this is really tough to throw out since our team at the moment is pretty decent. And if you really don't find a use for Velociraptor anymore, then you could take that out. Um, doesn't do enough damage, and it just dies to too many counters. So we could take that out for uh, Kolosuchus. I almost said Kolosaurus, but oops. A anyways, uh, moving on, <laughs> moving on, moving on. So the next one we're uh, going to talk about is uh, Raja. Uh, a Raja source, that's an uh, anytime local 4 epic. Um, it has a really, really great move set. It has, I think, the highest crit chance in the game when it uses its, its extended critical strike. It's like eighty percent crit or something. It's it's quite crazy. So um, uh, you could put that in. Um, it doesn't really like uh, have too much of a role um, that it fits in your team currently, but it is just a really great dino that does a lot of damage and can survive a bit since it does have that shield it's one of those dinos like megalosuchus it's it's a high damage dino that doesn't armor pierce so if you think rex is enough then you could take out barry or else you could probably take out kylokanon since it probably is you know lacking a bit although it does have its role still there um if you chose to use anki or you kept anki and Wuro in there then you could probably take this thing out and throw in a Rogersaurus. It's a really great dino. I'd highly suggest people uh, use it at this level. And moving on, let's go through some epic hybrids. So the first epic hybrid you probably will create is Notopatosaurus since its components, Apatosaurus and Notosaurus are both global, so it shouldn't be too hard to get. It's probably the game changer at this moment. Um, Notopatosaurus kind of changes your game a bit since it is a really, really great dino. This uh, once you get into epic hybrids, you'll get you know the full move sets with like uh, these with all you know better stats and all that uh, in comparison to your your normal epic dinos and stuff. Um, so uh, after Node Patasaurus, another really, really easy to get and really, really strong uh, epic hybrid is Stegosera. It used to be overpowered for what it was, but they toned that down a bit, but it's still great. And for Stegosera, I'd suggest taking out Kulosuchus, um, or you could take out one of the uh, Defense Shattering Dinos. It really depends on your playstyle. You see, it's really good. I even leveled up this thing to level 22, um, but then I dropped it after my team got a bit better. But uh, anyways, moving on, uh, Margocephalus is another uh, epic hybrid that you could get pretty easily. Um, it is quite important, not because of how itself is so good, and itself is pretty decent. It's a really great utility tank, um, but a Tragodistus, which you need to create with it, um, that's why you probably have to at least create it. And if you haven't taken out one of the Shield Breakers, you could probably take one of them out now for a Margocephalus as you transition into more of uh, more uh, tank heavy. Uh, 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 composition of your team. If I can find Marcocephalus, there it is. And then, moving on, uh, let's talk about one of the epic hybrids that are kind of more exclusive to your zone, which is Spinotoraptor. Uh, it is Spinos, uh, Spinosaurus and Utahraptor, um, both the rare ones, uh, obviously, since they're making an epic hybrid. And this thing just does a lot of good stuff. It's it's really comparable to Utah Sinoraptor, um, or at least the old Utah Sinoraptor, uh, 1.3's Utah Sinoraptor. It does a lot of great things. It has Striking Rampage. That's one of the best moves in the game. It also has a Bleed, Crit Impact. Uh, it has okay speed. I wish it was a bit faster. It's quite frail, though. Um, its damage isn't bad, and we could probably take out Delta for that. Um, or Sucatator. It depends on you. I personally would keep Sucatator in there. It has more utility. Um, then, uh, Delta. Delta is a one-trick pony. 
and it does its job quite well i have to say oops not you <laughs> where is here sparta and then uh, that should be it for all the epics you'd ever need on your team as we move on to legendaries and the first legendary you will likely get is stegodius it's just notepado plus stegosaurus the common global stegosaurus it is the ultimate grind dino if you haven't known already um it's just a grind dino it, it stuff isn't hard to get you just have to get a lot of it and as you can see down here my stegodius is level 28 <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. Um, you could either throw it in for Notepad or Brachiosaurus. I personally prefer uh, 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 a Brachiosaurus since, first of all, it looks cool. And then it has really cool animation. And it's the Brachy. And also, uh, it does have superiority strike over Notepado's uh, pinning strike, which Notepado got kind of shafted in that uh, sense. But uh, moving on. The next uh, legendary you probably will get is the Indominus Rex. Indominus Rex has Cloak and Rampage. That means its Rampage is going to do four times damage, and it's also a uh, armor piercing Rampage, which armor pierces. <laughs> it does a lot of damage, and it also has immunity, has decent health, um, decent damage. So yeah, that's a must-have for your team. So probably going to take out Rogersaurus by this time, uh, and throw in Indominus Rex. Um, moving on, uh, let's talk about what happens with a Marcocephalus. Well, it evolves into Tragodistus. Tragodistus is just in almost every way a better Marcocephalus. A Marcocephalus has instant invincibility, while Tragodistus has long invincibility. So that's an instant invincibility plus another turn, except it doesn't. it's not a priority move. But since it isn't a priority move, you can plan around it really well because you also have superiority strike, you have a speed control move, you have a stun move. These are all very important moves that can help you plan this long invincibility and long invincibility in turn helps you plan your damage moves and your speed control. So this is a really, really um, complicated, but also a really um, flowish dino. <laughs> you, have to, you have to really get used to using it to uh, use it well but once you do get used to using it it is really really good i highly suggest this dino to throw into your uh team okay next off is one of your uh legendary hybrids exclusive to local four and when i say exclusive in this sense it's like all its components are exclusive its components are Ankylosaurus and Rogersaurus, and it is Rogerkylosaurus. I personally have, haven't created it yet. Um, I'm j I've am just been focusing all my uh, uh, Ankylosaurus DNA into uh, Kentro, uh, Ankentro and Trico, so I haven't created Rogerkylo. But uh, anyways, Rogerkylo is still a great dino. We can take out Brachiosaurus for that. Or if you think one of the you know, Sucotato or Spinotoraptor is lacking, you could take the, one of those out too. Uh, but, uh, uh, I'll just take out, um, uh, uh, a Brachiosaurus since we have quite a few tanks in here, quite a few decent tanks already in here. So let's take that out for Rajakylosaurus. And again, I don't have Rajakylosaurus, so I'm just going to throw in Rajasaurus instead. So you guys know that's Rajakylosaurus, not Rajasaurus. Uh, anyways, um, next we're going to get some, um, uh, global hybrids but then uh some of the components are out of like like half of this thing's components are global and another part is you know out of zone which is spinotoraptor and again i don't have this created i'll just put in uh or, or uh, a spinotosuch is not spinotoraptor i'll just keep spinotosuchus in here and you would replace um spinotoraptor with it or a uh, sucotator what what uh whichever you feel is uh lacking off for you i'll just replace a uh, spinotoraptor just because it's convenient <laughs> so remember spinotoraptor is now spinotosuchus um it does it's probably one of the best bleed dinos in the game it's 129 speed that's really great especially you're facing against uh stuff like magna or indoraptor that's really important uh it does a lot of damage the crit impact also that's really really great when you're facing uh magna as it does have immunity so your bleed <laughs> attacks won't work but you still have a 1.5 uh 
times uh, attack with a chance to crit, which is pretty nice on a 129 speed dino. All right, so moving on, the um, uh, the the next dino you probably want on your team is uh, Triostronics. Triostronics is kind of weird, I guess. Oh, actually, also I I, I misspoke. Uh, Spinosaurus isn't. Um, you don't get its components from out out of zone. The one that you do get components out of zone is Triostronics. Oops, I kind of mixed those two up. But anyways, Triostronics is made from Baryonics and uh, uh, Postmetrodon. Postmetrodon is made with uh, Dimetrodon, which comes from Local 2, so you probably have to go there for a few Dimetrodons. But Pastasuchus is uh, a day global dino, so you don't have to worry about that. And Baryonyx is obviously a global night dino. And um, for that, you could probably just take out uh, Rex by now. Rex really... It's just, it, it it still does its job well, but you probably want to stop leveling it. Or, unless you want to go for Trichosaurus, you'll, you still have to level it to level 20. But, Trastronix, uh is, just, just does Rex's job better than Rex, I'd say. And the next dino you probably want to get is uh, Ankentrosaurus. This one is a bit hard to get since Kentrosaurus is a local 1 only dino. But, you live in local 2, or local 4, and you have a lot of Anki. DNA, and by the way, if I haven't mentioned this already, Local 4 is probably one of the best zones in the game, so if you live in Local 4, um, good for you, um, congratulations, you won the lottery, you're not in Local 3, <laughs> but uh, Local 4 used to be really horrible, it used to be the worst zone in the game, and now it's one of the best, which is a uh, redemption for them, I guess, <laughs> so anyways, uh, moving on, uh, and Kentrosaurus, and Kentrosaurus, I, I, I think is actually more closely related to uh, Sucatator than any other of these dinos on the team. I think it's more of a Sucatator than anything. Um, you know, it has null, it has, you know, stalling moves, um, it does chip damage. You know, it's it's really close to a Sucatator, although it tanks. Well, Sucatator doesn't, so let's take this thing out for Ankentrosaurus. It's... And Kentro is one of my personal favorite dinos to use. It just has a really great toolkit. Uh, you can really get into your opponent's mind and like really screw with them with this dino. <laughs> and I love it when people just totally predict the wrong move and then just lose because they made a bad prediction. But then again, if you don't play it that well or if you're unlucky, you could get the other side of the stick with Ankentro. So yeah, just go for it. Um, Try it out and see see how it goes. How about that? All right, the uh, uh, last uh, legendary I'd want to throw in here is Utah Sino. Um, Utah Sino is a quite off local dino. It uses Utah Raptor and Cyanoceratops, which is Cyanoceratops is a local one epic, but it is really good. It got a really decent bu uh, buff, and more importantly, the um, the hybrid for. Uh, Utah Sino, Utah Rhinox is arguably one of the best dinos in the game. I, I'd say, no matter which local you're in, you know, local one, two, three, four, you probably would have to have this dino on your team. Um, in, in the end game, it's just that great of a dino. So, um, but first things first, let's take out um Segacera for our new friend, uh, Utah Sino Raptor, and um, that's that. That is probably all the legendaries you'll need. You'll keep a few of these, for example, Stegodius, you'll keep till the end, but some will have to go and make way for the uniques. So the first unique you will get, unless you farm a lot of Tijangosaurus and Redekylo DNA, <laughs> uh, since you're a local 4 person, is uh, Indoraptor. And Indoraptor is, again, another one of the best dinos in the game. It just has great stats and really great moves and also has a bit of an RNG factor to it so um, when it does help you it's unstoppable when it doesn't it still doesn't do bad and uh, I'd say we uh, replace our friend Indominus Rex with Indoraptor um, Indominus Rex and Indoraptor they're kind of different animals um, uh, Indoraptor can break shields while Indominus cannot but Indominus has a bit more health, but then again, Indoraptor is faster, 
but Indominus has immunity. And Indoraptor can be slowed and destroyed like that. So it's really, you know, a toss-up. But um, eventually uh, the Indoraptor stats and, you know, um, its defense shattering really puts it over the top over Indominus. So let's just take out Indominus here and put in Indoraptor. And moving on, your next uh, unique probably is going to be a uh, Deorogosaur. You just got to farm a lot of local three Trichangosauruses. Let's take out Rajakylo for Deorogosaur. I don't have Deorogosaur. I don't even have Rajakylo. So let's just put, put in Trichangosaurus um, here just to uh, uh, replace that. And no, Trichangosaurus doesn't mean Tormoloch. Um, uh, Tormoloch is... And it, uh, it, it's an arena dino, you need to get Stiggy, and it's not that great. But anyways, let's have Deoraja in there. It got a decent buff uh, this patch. It does have Swap and Frosty, which is nice. Mm, I, I'm personally not that big of a fan of that, but uh, it does look good on paper, and it does do uh, uh, what it does, and it's best at what it does, which is swapping in when your uh, enemy isn't expecting something to, you know, swap and counter and kill it. When it's, go you know, just going for a basic strike on the dino that you have that's almost dead. And then you throw this thing out and counter, bam, you kill it instead. Which is pretty nice. Uh, and Dioraja has some other great moves. It does distract, it has decent stats. Um, and yeah, it's just a bit slow. But one... 08 outspeeds all the 107 dinos, which is pretty important. You, you know, you have Indominus, Sigodius, and stuff. So, yeah, let's throw in Deoraja here. Moving on, let's have Trichosaurus in here. And we're going to take out a Kentro for Trichosaurus. Not that they have too much in common, but uh, the problem with a Kentro is, you know, you're just going to level it to level 20. You're probably not going to level it over that. So, let's just have a uh, Trichosaurus in there. Um, Trichosaurus is probably one of the tankiest um, shield-busting dinos in the game. I might be blanking on someone else, but to my knowledge, I don't think there is anyone who's tankier that busts shields. It has two rampages. That's crazy. It has a counter, 20% crit. It has super high HP. It has 30% armor. It has instant invincibility. It's, it's just a super great kit. Although it is quite slow, but there are ways around that, so don't worry too much. And the last dino you probably want to have on your team is Yuta Rhinox, and let's take out Yuta Sino for that. Just because um, you don't pro probably don't want to level Yuta Sino over level 20. And uh, Yuta Rhinox is just in every way a better Yuta Sino. Uh, it's distracting Rampage instead of Impact. Also, it doesn't have Critical Impact. It has something better as Impact and Run. So it's more of a utility-based dino. Well, Utah Sino is more a, of a core-busting dino, which also has a lot of weaknesses. Significantly frailer, and um, yeah, it doesn't have Rampage on turn one, so it doesn't have that burst damage in comparison. But anyways, this should be your endgame team if you live in Local 4. Although there are some more options that you can have. Um, the last slot, you know, you could change this for either uh, Dioraja or uh, Spinetosuchus or Trilostronix or Trigodistus. And these three dinos are Dilorakyrus, uh, Magna Pirator, and Alosino. It really depends on you because... Because um, uh, these things are really, really hard to get. Um, Magna's, you know, it's Irritator's is ex arena exclusive. So that's one way. Uh, that's one reason why Magna is hard to get. Dino Kyrus, that's, you know, all local one and two materials. And you live in local four. So uh, that's pretty hard to get. But it's an extremely strong dinosaur. And uh, Aloe Sino, it's, uh, you, local four has Aloe, but... Most of your Sino DNA is probably going to go to uh, Utah Rhinox, so you're probably not going to be powering up Alessino that much, but Alessino is extremely great tank buster. Um, it's really good to have if you have like all that spare DNA. If you leveled up Utah Rhinox to level 30, which I don't think anyone in the game has yet legitimately, but uh, uh, if you do, then you could work on Alessino. It's a really great dino. But uh, anyways, that's it for Local 4, so you're... Endgame teams should be something like 
uh, Utah Rhinox, Indoraptors, Stegodius, Diorotosaur, Trichodistus, uh, Triostronix, Trichosaurus, and Spinetosuchus. Obviously, these dinos you could swap around. You could throw in Magna, Dyrrhochiris, Alessandro, like I mentioned. It really depends on what you have, your resources, and you know other stuff. Monomimus is also another one that you could throw in. It's just really hard to level up, <laughs> but it, it. But again, like the others, if you do manage to get it up there, uh, it's not a bad pick either. One twenty nine speed with uh, null and uh, distracting, also as evasive which for some reason it's 50% but everyone keeps complaining it's like 80% or something but you know it's it's 50%. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope this was helpful in any way and remember this is, you know, this is just a template. It's a it's a template. It doesn't consider, you know, what you get in incubators, it doesn't put in consideration uh the event dinos, you know, strikes, uh whatever lucky encounters you get but this is just a general guide for what you should be expecting if you live and play a lot in local 4 and as always uh, feel free to <laughs> disagree with any of the uh, choices and if you do disagree I will probably disagree with you in the comments too so get be prepared for that <laughs> I do have strongly hold opinions <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Um, we have local 1 and local 2 left, so tell me in the comments down below which one you want to see next. And sorry I didn't really upload yesterday because um, I had some like problems with my eye, it was really weird. And I also, you know what, I, I'm not going <laughs> to talk about that part. So uh, uh, anyways, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the second last local uh, team building guide. So uh, good luck and have fun guys in the game.